Okay, um, one thing y'all probably don't know about is I have stuff in storage in a town about 60 miles away. And uh, this is stuff that was put into storage after Hurricane Ike. Yeah, look at the miles on my car. Yeehaw! That's pretty cool. So, anyhow, yeah. Um, heading down, yikes, to Dickinson to get my storage cleared out and what furniture is in there. I hope I can clean it up really well and sell it. So, we shall see when we get there. I've got a good deal of it out already. But, um, there's still a lot. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm in Dickinson now. And yeah, people. And just stopped off at the Dollar General to get uh, some goodies to keep me going. I always bring this ice pack thing with me. And, uh, you know, just some... Diet Cokes and a couple snacks just to keep me going. And of course, I'm going to eat them all. But uh, yeah, I'm coming back tomorrow too. So, okay. Beautiful, beautiful Dickinson knot. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll get to the storage now. Stupid me, I turned off my AC. I believe it is December and I'm using my AC. In my RV, everybody else is using their bikes. Sorry about that. In my RV, in my RV, in the RVs, most people are using heat and I haven't had to turn my heater on. I think I've turned it on once or twice this season because um, I use a dehumidifier and it puts out heat and it takes the condensation out of my RV. One year I had a problem with mildew from that con condensation. So, okay, we are heading towards the storage place. I've got a um, little side trip to make first. There's a uh, rescue group that's fairly new, and I've been donating a lot of my old stuff to them, sheets and some of the dog stuff and such as that. So we're going to go there, and I'm going to see if they're interested in my crates. I'm not giving away the crates because they don't make that kind anymore. They don't make them that sturdy anymore. But if they're interested in selling them for a good price or a package deal, then I'll make a deal with them. Otherwise, I'll just put them on Craigslist. My old stomping grounds. To be honest, I do not miss this town. I miss living by the bay, but I don't miss this town. Okay, so I am here at my storage. Um, Today's not a good day. Okay. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I got PTSD, a bad case of it, after Ike. I think I've had it before Ike, but after Ike, it got pretty bad. When you lose your house and people come into your house and grab stuff. I have quite a bit of stuff in here still. I still love living in the RV though. So what I plan to do is Hopefully get some of this stuff, stuff sold. These crates are hard to get now because they're the more solid type and they make them cheaper now. 
Um, and of course over here I have a couple of dog dryers, stand dryers, my exercise bike, some furniture, <sighs> TVs, some of the stuff I can actually leave behind and they'll just stick it in their open storage containers and sell it to make a profit for themselves, I don't care. A big air conditioner right here that I'm not going to let go of. I'm going to sell that. Except uh, December is probably not the greatest time of year to sell something like that. And uh, yeah, just stuff. These old um, desk chairs and office furniture. My old grooming table is that white thing there that's upside down. And, uh, yeah. So, once I start working, it calms me down, though. It's just getting there. <laughs> that's the issue. So, anyhow. Under here are some, is a really nice dinette set. Let me go over to the other side. Oh, this is not fun at all. Oh boy, okay. Nobody died. Everything's good. This is also when my marriage fell apart. I don't talk about that either, but yeah, my marriage did fall apart. But it wasn't just because of this, and it wasn't me. It wasn't, I mean, I may have had a part in it, but um, the bigger part was him. So, in here is the other side. <laughs> Crap, look at that. That's a brand new washer. So, I thought if I could sell the washer, I just, there's an older dryer in there. I'll just give the dryer with the washer. Um, up there is a utility cabinet, which I might keep to use for storage at my uh, RV site. And then just garage sale type items. <laughs> Here's my van furniture. What do you do with old van furniture when your van's full of stuff? Uh, I swear, I put, I don't know. I just haven't been able to get myself organized just can't seem to do it but anyhow yeah I'm here to work get a few things out I love this little shelf unit but realistically I can't use it so I can sell it though it's in excellent shape so a couple vacuum cleaners in there books desks desk this yes, my old roll top desk that I love but I can't hang on to it so it's going to go bye bye too. And the old TVs. Um, I can either find a resale shop to buy them for really cheap, or I could leave them, or let a friend just take them. So. But uh, we'll see. Anyhow, yeah. I'm going to get to work. That box up there is empty. I just kept it in here to put stuff in. So, and yeah, the animal place doesn't buy things, which I kind of assumed, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Brand new comforter, never used. So, okay, I'm going to get busy. <laughs> Look at this. That was for hurricane emergencies, storm emergencies and such. Not even usable anymore. It works. Well, the radio and such would work. But um, you'd have to have a DTV box to get it to run. So, crazy, huh? I think they make small DTV boxes, but no, I got an RV. I don't need a DTV box. So... Okay, let's get to work on this. This is one huge storage unit, isn't it? Jeez. Okay.
get to work. These help too. Yum yum. Mini donuts. Chocolate covered. So. I gotta find my gloves. I know I have them in here somewhere. Okay, I'll be back. Well, go figure. The idiot jeans have struck. My gloves are not in here. Mwah. No gloves at all. Mwah. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to buck it up and get filthy. I always do anyhow. Anyhow, I, there's my Coke. And I always bring these little hand wipe things, wash wipe things, and hand sanitizer. So. Uh, okay, get your butt to work. Okay. Okay, so I'm done for the day. Still have a lot more to go, but I got a lot of pictures. The washer, the dryer, certain pieces of furniture, etc. So, uh, at least I can post them on Craigslist and get going on this. Keep you posted. Look at the big awesome truck. Truck. <laughs> Try again. Look at the big awesome trunk that my Crown Vic has. Isn't that amazing? Got one of those huge garden containers in it. With stuff in it! Stuff! Stuff and more stuff. I am going to have one heck of a garage sale one of these days. But first, my first priority. Of course, I've got everything kind of pulled out. Got to put everything back. Yeah, that's for sale too. That doesn't even fit an RV, it's so big. And I have my little luggage roller that I've been using to haul the heavy stuff with, and which has been helpful. So anyhow, yes, I will put all this crap that's sitting outside back. And maybe come back tomorrow or go through the stuff that I'm taking home and then come back. We'll see. Look at that. Hmm.